Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. I'm going to attempt to show you how to draw this, and I'm actually going to draw it a little bit better. I think I figured out a way to make that little curve, but it just looks like it's uh, going in and out of each other. So let's, one of my favorite polygon tools I've been using lately is a six-sided polygon. Hit P to put it in the center of the page. Then we're going to draw a rectangle, make it about that thick. There's, there's no rhyme or reason. And if you will grab that part of the X and I'm going to grab it. See, it's got an X right there. If I grab the sidewall, it'll go right and snap to that line. I really don't have it long enough. So I'm going to, with my ratio, well, I don't have to do that since I'm stretching it. And so I can stretch it. It'll be in the same place. Now I'm going to grab both this one and this one will hold down the shift key, go to effects and blend and blend just two times. So we get that. But I've forgotten one thing I need, and this will still work since we're blending. I can take this one, holding down the control key and just ever so slightly move it over. And what that did, that still blended them together. Now I want them all separated. So I'm gonna to go to object, break the four objects apart, select them all again, object, group and ungroup them all. Now we're gonna drag, grab the three point curve line and we're gonna go from that node to that node and then holding down the control button so it's like a perfect arch. We're gonna put an arch there. Now I think to, fig, to fix that little roughness in my first one, I think I can draw maybe an arch from here to here and just not even hold down the control button and just put a little bit of more arts there. Now those are two separate lines, so this should realistically work. If I hold down the shift key and select both those and control G and then control D, I ought to be to take these same two lines. Well, and they don't work. I would think you know they work on that one I mean maybe I'm overstepping my bounds here I'm gonna grab that node right there to have it snap to it you know you might even be possibly a bit of blend these but I'm gonna hit the plus key again oh you know what that's what it is I don't have to go to that uh, actual a line because I remember if we came in hit the plus key again and I'm just grabbing that corner so this should work in theory but just in case it doesn't I'm going to draw a rectangle around it in case I get a leak after that with the smart field tool and now I'm going to take and delete that line and that line and these two little bitty lines well my arch is not on that one let's just cheat a little bit and use the Shape tool. They're grouped together, remember, so we have to go to object, group, and un. You've got to select it. Select your line, go to object, group, and ungroup. And I hope, I hope they're not all off. If I was doing this for real, I'd probably start over. There we go. Now let's see if this other, other one works. Yes. We're good. It's a little bit off, I think, but that'll work. Uh, virtual segment, delete key, delete these lines, and one more. Okay, now here's kind of a neat trick. <clears throat> We're gonna take the Smart Fill tool and fill this in. Okay, I'm gonna remove my box. Well, what I'm actually gonna do is make my rectangle bigger in case i do have a leak it won't leak all over the screen perfect 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 now what i can do holding down the shift key and select all four of them okay and then mirror them the other direction now i'm going to go ahead and group them together control g because i'm going to bring this corner and that way I can zoom in without losing it. I'm gonna bring this corner down to there. 
Well, really, a, you know, that might not work. Let's see. Let's take this corner and move it up to there. Yeah, that should work. Now I am going, maybe it'll work. I'm going to uh, left click, no fill. Yeah, this will work. Now I can delete these lines. So what I did, I'm getting the exact same um, curvature on both ends. Now I have to go through here and do what we did up top. I'm going to go ahead and do the, these first, come back and do those little bitty lines. So that way we have the same curvature. This is going to work. So anyway, because it would have been really difficult to make those perfect. Now here's kind of the key. Let me get rid of this rectangle. Group this together, control G. Because this way, when we take the smart fill tool and fill these in, now we can move this out of the way. I'm just going to nudge it out of the way. I'm going to go ahead and take away the outline. And I'm going to control G to group these together. Double click on the rectangle or the, the item. Control D to make a duplicate and move it to the center. Rotate it 120 degrees. Look at that. And then Control D and rotate it 240 degrees. So then just take your first one. And since they're grouped together, you can use the interactive fill tool on all of them. And see, then put a little black. And if you're a little confused about the order, it's kind of confusing until you click on the next one. Whoops. I'm going to hit F4 on the keyboard, bring it right back, no matter where it was. Then I'm going to grab the second one. The second one, uh, Interactive Fill Tool, doesn't really need to be, well, it does need to be darker, but we can change the color. We don't want it too dark, but I'm going to make the color green. And see, that made it blend like that. Now we'll do one more. And interactive fill tool. And see, we don't really, this doesn't have a color change because it's going from the top to the top. So we're going to make this blue and make this blue. So this one is actually on the top layer. So it, to me anyway, so this is going behind the green and it's darker. This is lighter and then it's going behind the blue and it's darker. So I did a little bit better job on the turning. Uh, you could probably do a little bit job, a better job. But that's kind of a cool... And you could do more lines or less lines. I think four would probably be the minimum. But you could do quite a few more lines before it would get too crowded. And you could play around. Since they're grouped together, you could, you know, change the order, but you're going to kind of mess up here and go front of page, and then you got that. And that's not bad. But you just need to change your color. And this changes the whole outlook of the item. You know, if we took this one now and changed the uh, interactive fill tool and made it all green on both ends, you know, because it's going on the outside, and then, we, then all you'd have to do is change the blue and use the interactive fill tool and then put a darker color on this end and maybe, but not that dark. And you could you know, have all kinds of different scenarios. Pretty cool. Hope that helped. Thank you for watching.